Hello and welcome to week five of Building Morak. This week, we're not working on this thing. Okay, so we're going to kick off this week's Building Morak with something I haven't done in a mock build series in ages. Um, that's a haul. You can see here I've got a big old box. It's I'm kind of shocked it's taken us to week five of Morak before we've actually got a haul of something. Just because the other episodes were so long already, I didn't want to put anything in them. But this episode's a little bit shorter, so I could fit this in. Um, just gonna, this thing here is just to cover up my address because I didn't, I forgot to score it out, but let's cut open this little box here if I can get the knife in, come on, there we go, there we go, come on, there we go, now in this box should be, um, well a bunch of different things, some filler because I'm going to need a lot of filler at the minute, as well as some other different interesting detailed pieces, and just things I found interesting in the store, so we can open this up to see that we've got a nice little bit of bubble wrap, if I move this box out of your way, there we go. So just let's pull out this bubble wrap and see what we've got inside. So let's move that. <laughs> Always love it when the box is much bigger than the actual thing inside it. And, oh no. Is it all just... Ah. They've just stuffed it all into one big bag, haven't they? Oh, I love this. Yeah, that, that's perfect. Um, okay, so we can see here that we've got all of the parts that I was talking about before. Um, they've all been stuffed into one bag, though. I know this is, like, environmentally friendly and whatnot, so I don't mind it too much. It's just going to take me a while to sort through all this, because I think there's over a thousand pieces in this bag. So, yeah, love to see that. Um, here's just a quick squiz going through the actual Bricklink order just to show you what's inside it. Um, they got some stuff in little bags, um, which are extras, so that's cool. They gave me that for free. I, I appreciate that. I mean, that's a cool, like, rounded piece there, but that's quite discoloured, but I don't care. It's free. Um, and then we've also got some other just random stuff in here. I guess that saw might be useful for something. Um, yeah, so here's the bag full of stuff. Let's get to the video. Um, yes, we're finally making a start on the actual landscape. This is just the actual moving part, but this needs to fit into something, of course. And that's why I've got the base plates out at long last. Um, I realised immediately that I think this mock's already going to have to be bigger than I, than I initially planned. So I think that this, the, the landscape section alone, is going to have to be about two and a half base plates long. Maybe a little bit shorter than that, but I think what I'm going to do, therefore, is have this base plate, and you'll see there's some other base plates behind there, which is going to be the length of this section. And then I think I'm going to have four 16 by 16s going here, 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 and here, and that'll be the length of the main landscape section. So we're not going to work on all of that today, we're just going to work on the starting area, or base, I guess. And yeah, so... Basically, what my first plan is, is what does every mock need? A lovely little border. Usually borders are done around episode 1 or episode 2. We're getting there to episode 5 and let's start our border just along the edge right down here. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got our first layer of snot bricks down. My basic plan is to do with these pieces first. These kind of like 2 by 2 with the studs on the side because that means I'm able to put regular snot bricks on top and just be able to have a nice flat wall to them. Um, my slight issue is that when you put, just for example, a plate up next to one of these, you can, like, at certain angles, see the base plate underneath. Like, you can see here, you can see that green base plate, and even if it's got a plate on it, you can still kind of see the base plate. So that's obviously not ideal, um, especially with different colored base plates. I don't really have a solution to this. It's kind of just going to be the case of I'm going to have to live with it. It's not perfect, but at 95% of angles, you're not going to see that. So 
I'm just going to go with it and let's start building the next layer. I'm not going to be working on this the entire time. This is just to show example of what's going on in the next whenever I move on to this. But this is mainly going to be focusing on this section. So I will be working from here next. Okay, so I've actually started to build up the border now. I'm going to go with the minifigure plate um, border. I know this isn't the most unique thing that's ever been done, but I just uh, quite like it because it's quite tall and the mock's going to be quite tall. So it gives it a nice defined border and also got a ton of these pieces and I literally have no other use for them. So might as well use them here. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to do this. That's going to be the height of it. So I'm just going to double reinforce around the top here and just build it out a bit. So I've got a strong structured base to this and then start work on the filler on the inside. Sounds good. Okay, so like I mentioned before, you can see I've got a nice reinforcement along the border here. You might be wondering what that thing's doing facing upwards like that um, and what this thing made of Duplo bricks is. Well, this is basically going to be the support for that technique function. Like, the plan is for this module to sit on top of that so it's raised a bit higher so that the actual juggernaut will be the height I want it. I think I figured that the height of my rock work is going to be basically this tall, which is 20 bricks up, or four of these 2x5s. And, yeah, I'm quite happy with that height because it's not too tall and not too short. And, yeah, happy with how that's going to look in total with that on top of there. Um, hopefully that stays sturdy. Onto the actual rock work, as I said before, you can see this has been nicely reinforced. I've decided that for my rock work, I'm going to use dark tan. I feel like that's the most accurate colour I can use for the actual rock cliffs and sides. And yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I've made a bit of progress since the last um, update. You might be wondering, um, what's this giant thing over here? <laughs> Um, well, this is basically a large, long snot platform, which I've used to hook up a couple of 16x16 16 16 plates, on which the other side I've attached a bunch of 2x2 two two tiles. Now, this is basically to save me a ton of space and money, um, because I got all of these 2x2s two off the pad wall. I was able to just attach these to the sides to make it look like a dark tan side without spending a ton on actual dark tan bricks. Um, this is a technique I've used before, most notably on my Nalhata mock, but I think it looks really cool. Okay, so it's a new day and I'm getting further work done on this mountainside. I showed yesterday that entire side of... I uh, forgot there's a little bit of a gap there, so I'll cover that up. But that entire side is now all dark tan, which is what we love to see. And now I'm working on this side. Initially, I did have it all just completely smooth, but it started to look um, a little bit boring. I decided to change that up a little bit, so I've left some exposed studs in which I'm going to put different little vines and plants and whatnot, just to make it look a little bit more exciting. Um, because this isn't obviously going to be the focal point of the mock, this is kind of just something I need to be there to make the top side of it look more interesting with that in it and whatnot. So this is just basically a filler, essentially, just to make this look good. But obviously I want to make it look somewhat good, it's just not my... Into it, the rock work is very simple. It's not me trying to do anything crazy with techniques, but this has also got to be quite sturdy as a base. That's why I'm just working with simple with simple bricks and slopes for this kind of section. All my more exciting techniques will come later in the series. Um, yeah, so this is just a simple part, but I'm liking where this is going, and now I just need to start continuing it along that way. And there we have it, an actual cliff face. Look at that. Wow, tons of interesting techniques going on there. Let me tell you that for free. And look at those leaves really brightening things up. Um, yeah, not sure how I feel about the leaves. They look a little bit um out of place, but I think I'll leave them for now and see how it looks when I do the top of it. And then if I don't like it, then I'll change it. But this is what we're going to do for now. But you can see I've got a nice, like, finished off looking outer side, but the inside is looking... Um, to say the least, bare. So the first thing I'm going to do is support this wall um, up here, just so it's got a little bit more strength than it actually does currently, and also support this side back here, because I will have another uh, technic. <laughs> I'm going to have another technic function going on back here because this one wasn't enough. So that'll be a lot of fun, but we'll save that for another week. And yeah, so we're just going to keep working on the supports back here and see where we get to. But that will have to wait till another week, ladies and gentlemen, because once again, we're out of time. 
Um, I know that this is the shortest week of Warwick yet, but I think we've also technically got the most progress done in it, so, you know, swings and roundabouts. But thank you for watching this week's update. If you liked it, like the video, that's what the like button's there for. Comment if you think, comment what you think about the rock work, because as I said, it is really simple, but I don't want to spend a ton of money and time on it because I want the focus to not be on the rocks. I want it to be what's on top of the rocks, so it's kind of iffy. And subscribe if you're new, because Morik will be back next week. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And goodbye.